about the wonderful culverts that uh, right around Park Avenue, I guess, huh? Uh, Chris and Jennifer, you saw the video of this. Do you have uh, anything you want to say about it? I prefer to just answer any in Great. questions that aren't branch. resolved. Having watched the selectmen's meeting, and this, when it was first discussed, there was, it was discussed that it could very well have been two Warren articles, mm -hmm. one being the Eaton Park, and then the other one being the Park Ave culvert. And when I heard that, I liked that because, because the Eaton Park culvert, I would just as well see that the money that uh, the 20 percent from the parking lot, because they're always looking for something to do with that money, okay? They're always looking for something to do. What are we going to do this year with that money? Like the surplus, yeah. <coughs> no, but, but I, I would feel very, you know, you talk about rewriting a, uh, rewriting a, uh, you know, uh, one of these Warren articles. This is one that I would be very happy to see. Are so you suggesting this like we consider this into two Can, more? Oh, at that I would, point, may I shed some light yeah. on why that doesn't make as much money <coughs> because of the engineering behind it? Please. Yeah. Okay. This is nothing to do with the recreation fields. This has nothing to do with recreation. This is truly a drainage issue. The drainage pipe that is on um, the, uh, the, the driveway side of, of where you enter yeah. uh, into the park. That is an undersized drain. That drain itself goes all the way back through the fields, up to High Street, up Toll Ave, down Winnicunit, up Academy Ave, and collects a section of High Street, and I might have had one of those roads backwards. That is not indicative of it being a recreation project. It is a drainage issue that we have that surcharges. Tying that together with the culvert that is, I'm using geographic locations, next to King's Kingdom, but again, nothing to do with the playground, is a stream bed that comes down and around, goes through an existing arched culvert. And if you recall, to get into that park, there is sort of a one lane roadway yep. that, that's a crossing, that's an environmental permitting, that's a wetland permit. Um, that culvert, once the water it's there again it collects a large portion down uh, Park Avenue and then goes back out onto Winnicott and collects drainage from down there putting the two together is an economic decision it's an efficiency decision it allows us then to park pave Park Avenue as one project as a finished project similar to what we're trying to accomplish with the sewer and the drain projects up on Ann Lane get the utilities done and then come back in and get a final paved service so that was really the push to make this one project because of everything that can get done at once. So I really do want to not. Thank you. I'm not finished. If I could please just the branch, just a little more. That makes a lot of sense, and I did watch the part that you talked about. You know, the water's going to go downhill. Once it gets to that area, um, you're very <coughs> close to the marsh. Is that where it eventually just drains into? Eventually, this goes out to the marsh end, all the way out to, to the other side of 101. Okay, thank you very much. You know, I had some I had some what ifs in my meeting or in our meeting on the 26th, mm -hmm. uh, most of which have been dispelled by just further consideration and some of it by information you guys have supplied. And this is a stand on your own article, uh, and I am I am uh, in favor of it. Mr. I'm, I'm very much in favor of it, but he, and I just want to make a statement. The article above is $2,000 less than we told we absolutely need it. We're going to use the unassigned fund balance. This is the right way of doing it. Yeah. The tax impact of voters, excellently expressed. Jen, you explained it very well. I watched it. I'm absolutely in favor of this, but just remember what I just said about it. So. Okay, we're all set, right? Yep. yep. Mr. Frank wants to make a motion to recommend this, and uh, Mr. Warburton wants to second it, and everyone's going to raise their hand in favor of it. Yes. Excellent. So it's unanimous. Yeah. Wasn't that great, Fred? Wonderful. <laughs>